Making your way outside, you begin to scan the night sky, frantically trying to find the source of the light. And as you look up towards the Great Mountain, you find that it's not actually magma spewing forth, but rather a great pillar of fire shooting and reaching up towards the night sky. And encircled about these flames is a ginormous shadowy figure, nearly the size of the volcano itself, the shadow incarnate, the dark god Chernabog. This is how you turn Chernabog, the god of night from Disney's Fantasia, into an absolutely terrifying boss fight for your D&D adventure. Hello and welcome to the Major Illusion channel, a place where I take pop culture characters and stories and turn them into D&D boss fights and epic adventures. So if that's something that you're into, don't forget to like and subscribe to never miss out on any of the fun that we have here. But with that being said, let's go ahead and dive right into today's adventure. In search of a fabled magical item of unimaginable power, you and your party have ventured deep to the center of the continent to a great mountain rumored to house this ancient relic somewhere among its shadow-steeped peaks. After several grueling weeks of enduring blistering winds and scorching deserts, you finally arrive at the gates of the city of Bald, built around the base of the Great Mountain. Many centuries ago, the city of Bald was revered as a jewel of the realm, a symbol of opulence and technological achievement. However, after several decades of prosperity, the city was met with great tragedy as the mountain upon which the city was built began to shake violently, revealing itself to actually be a dormant volcano, finally awakening from its millennial sleep. Similar to Pompeii in our own world, the citizens of Bald were unable to evacuate the city on time and instead found themselves devastated and destroyed by a mixture of magma and ash. Pushing open the decaying gates, you and your party venture through the streets and avenues of the city, looking and find no signs of life. Instead, all you're met with are the somber statues of the citizens of Bald, whose terrified faces are now forever frozen in time, fully encased in magma, all those many years ago. Due to the massive size of the city, you and your party decide to stay and find shelter for the night before venturing the next morning to the mountain in hopes of finding your prized relic. Using one of the abandoned homes as a refuge, you and your party begin to make a makeshift campfire as its plumes of smoke begin to make its way through the caved-in roof. Sitting quietly around the campfire, you and your party begin to recite various fables and wives' tales pertaining to the city of Bald and what actually happened there. Tales that explain that it wasn't a volcano that was the bane of the people of Bald, but rather a primordial darkness that was released during the volcano's eruption that smote the land with flame and shadow. After several hours of futilely fighting for sleep, you are instead alerted as a large beam of light shoots through the windows and also the crumbling roof of your shelter. Making your way outside, you begin to scan the night sky frantically trying to find the source of the light. And as you look up towards the Great Mountain, you find that it's not actually magma spewing forth, but rather a great pillar of fire shooting and reaching up towards the night sky. And encircled about these flames is a ginormous shadowy figure, nearly the size of the volcano itself, the shadow incarnate, the dark god Chernabog. With the colossal shadow of Chernabog looming over the city, you and your party make haste towards the base of the mountain in hopes of fighting this formidable foe that now threatens your life. Quickly making your way through the maze-like streets of the city, you look up yet again to see the visage raising its hands up towards the night sky as a hellish symphony of screams tears through the night air. Suddenly the statues that littered the entire city begin to reanimate with undead minions, fumbling and blocking your various paths outside the city as they try to attack you. Swinging swords and hurling spells, you all ferociously fight your way through the city until you eventually arrive at the base of the mountain. Scattered along the sides of the mountain, you find various vents of flame that feed into the great pillar of fire that is now engulfing Chernabog. However, each of these vents is being closely guarded by a band of demons, and you and your party have to decide if it's worth the additional battles to weaken Chernabog before ultimately having to confront him. Regardless of what you choose, you and your party finally arrive at the summit of the volcano, covered in sweat and trembling with fear and anticipation as the shadowy figure of Chernabog looms above you, dwarfing you with both its enormous size as well as its colossal wingspan. As you all engage in mortal combat, you all struggle to try and cripple the billowing wings that now send forth gale force winds that cut into your exposed flesh. Even the ground beneath your feet seems to be plotting against you as Chernabog takes large streams of magma and spews them across the battlefield, drastically changing the terrain. After a death-defying battle, you and your party stand victorious as Chernabog begins to writhe in pain and shrivel down, collapsing into the mouth of the volcano from which it came. Now victorious, you and your party enjoy the spoils of a long rest, as well as the ancient relic of which Chernabog had been guarding. I hope you all enjoyed this adventure narration. If you happen to have a story or character that you want me to adapt next, be sure to leave it in the comments down below. And don't forget to subscribe for even more adventures in your future. See you later.